Welcome to Lupit Family. Lupit Pole Classic G2 Installation Video. Before we begin installing your Lupit Pole Classic, let us go over all the parts you got. A. Base Pole. B. Main Pole. C. Pole Extension. Instructions for use. D. Pole extension. E. Upper disc. G. Two Allen or hex keys for standard lock. One Allen or hex key for quick lock. Before you purchase your Lupid Pole Classic, it is very important that you measure your ceiling so you can order extra extension if needed. Lupit Pole Classic height calculator can be found in the instructions for use. To begin the installation, Join B, main pole, and A, base pole. Add the required extension combinations C, D, or F, depending on your ceiling height, followed by the E, upper disc. Connect the parts by turning them slightly to the left and right. Make sure there are no gaps between each piece. Align the pole with the ceiling. Turn counterclockwise to extend it until the upper disc is tight to the ceiling. Use a water level to level the pole from all sides. Do the final check of the pole stability by shaking it back and forward, making sure the upper disc doesn't move. Once the pole is leveled and securely tightened, use the ball end side of the hex key to simultaneously and softly tighten all four screws under the mask, and then use a shorter part to simultaneously but strongly tighten all four screws. Then raise the mask. It is important that the black rubber is not visible. If it is, you need to change your extensions according to the height calculator. There are two systems available to switch your pole from static to spin. Squeeze both locking buttons at the same time and twist the lock to the spin position. Return to the static position, repeating the whole process in the opposite direction.